Okay, let us have some real talk for today. Friendly advice to those who are aspiring to become an elementary teacher. So if you are taking the course Bachelor of Elementary Education, you should hear me out first before you're going to proceed with your course. Here are some top 5 must-have skills for elementary teachers. And of course, you should know this by heart. Let's begin with number 5. Academic skills. Academic skills simply is the one that you are pursuing right now. So you have the four years to get this academic skills. So you are very good at writing, reading, speaking, and all the skills that you need to have academically so that you can perform your role as a teacher. So young elementary learners natin, they are really starting from the very beginning. Our learners are starting from scratch. It means that you will be the instrument so that they will be able to read, write, speak, and listen and do all the things that an elementary learner should be able to do. So, number five is the academic skills. Number four is leading skill. Okay? So, if you are going to become a teacher, it means that you are going to become a leader. That means that you are going to lead these young minds to think the right way to perform things the right way, to behave the right way. You know, everything is at your hands to guide them so that when they grow up, they will become better persons, better individuals, fruitful, productive individuals. So you are leading them, not just now, but also you are leading them for the future. Number three, role playing. Well, yes, if you are a teacher, it means that you are also a role player. Sometimes you are a mother in the class, sometimes you are a friend to this learner, sometimes you will act as the villain in the class so that they will be able to perform the things that they are going to do, that they are supposed to do. So, you need to have the role-playing skills just like the celebrities, the artists that we have. Because we are going to set the ambience of the classroom. That's why a teacher should know how to look happy in front of the class even if she has problems inside. It doesn't mean na baka plastic si teacher. It simply means that we should know how to project ourselves professionally as teachers in front of the learners. The top two would be dancing and singing. Yes, because early in the morning, you are going to do all the Zumbas there. Yes, you're going to do the exercising. And so you are going to do some stretching for the class to get ready for the lessons that you are going to do. So it means that you should be able to perform some dances, not just to set the class, but also during fiesta, you will have some dance presentations and also those moments that uh, the children will have some presentation in school. So you should be ready to teach them how to dance to certain music. Sometimes uh, folk dances, sometimes a little bit of interpretative dances, yes, and some other cultural dances sometimes also the modern dances that we have as well and of course singing so they are going to learn with you the basic songs that they should learn just like the national anthem ako ay pilipino all the hymns that we have we are going to guide them how to do those songs not just during flag racing ceremony but also in other occasions and events that we have in school. 
So you should be ready all in all to become a performer if you are going to be a teacher. That is a fact that you should remember. A teacher is not just a leader but also a performer.